na kuna oneness in purpose mm. me rather wisdom mm. usini post mm. lakini like behave vizuri mm. mm. like uki behave vibaya mm. ina effect more than uki ni post mm. ah. siko naelewa yeah. like if we have unity of purpose mm. it's far more important than we kuni post mm. kosa kuni post da mimi kazi ni si ni kazi yangu mimi si nifambane nifanye wewe we mwenyewe wewe una post kazi za wasanii wengine labda kuna baada ambao mpenda kufahamu kusema na moja cha tuba ambesa hivi anatamba na hii EP yake Uh, hongera kwa ndoa jambo jema sana. So far kitu gani umejifunza katika ndoa? Katika ndoa? Mm. Uh, eh, hey, sasa sema ni. <laughs> There are so many lessons that lakini kuna zile kwa at least right now vile ume, umeingia kwenye ndoa life yako ime change kwa sababu ya nini umejifunza kitu gani tofauti? Well I think mo, most of all ni your responsibility kama mwanaume itakuwa hivi interested hivi ni kwa kwa ndoa mm. kwa sababu wanaume sometimes una unajua wanaume kujipanga kwa wanaume wanaume anaweza kana jipanga na amejipanga yeah. lakini kwa ndoa lazima kwa umejipanga na umepanga mambo umepanga mbele kidogo uh-huh. acha niseme hivyo uh-huh. juu tukiwa mabachelor uh-huh. ungenilipa pesa yote nilipe nayo music video uh-huh. ni kule mandazi for the next one week unajua kwa sababu yani wanaume yeah wanaume wanaweza survive na vitu bia minimum Uh-huh. But once you get into a home kuna vitu muhimu sana una kujipanga so you really have to be organized kidogo. Uh-huh. Mitakati unapanga miaka 2, miaka 5. So yes. I think una jipanga. So I think ku survive kwa mwanaume ki bachelor uh-huh. sometimes unaweza ishi ki ninja. Uh-huh. Lakini unaweza nuo home theater na una lenja. Kweli kweli. Kwa TV of theater yeah. don't care about certain things but once you get into marriage there's so many things that test your responsibility. Okay. Yeah, you mentioned the word test. Yeah. What are some of the tests that you might be here and you can say ah marriage sure is easy thing. Ah Of course if you're married to una 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 mwa una mpenda na unapendana mm. lakini ni watu na ni watu tofauti. Mmelelewa mm. places tofauti. Mm. Na sometimes unaweza mtofauti kwa ile ana tofauti ana. Lakini ukitofautiana bado tungo kwa hiyo nyumba yako ni So I think one of the biggest tests is that kwa marriage ukikosana sio kama kwa dating kwa dating mnaweza kosana na mkosa kuona na wiki unaulizwa eh ndani yako wapi sema ya ya rasi yako wapi lakini in marriage yaani mko pamoja mko hapo there's so much at stake na bado mko binded pamoja na ile covenant tunifanya so i think one of the biggest tests is that you know that as much as mnakosana kuna hiyo kitu ya lazima hiki tu iwak so lazima tu tu find a way around it uh-huh. yeah so i think that's that's a test uh-huh. to overcome your ego to overcome Uh-huh. overcome you know kukosea na kukosewa uh-huh. kitu zote yeah. okay yeah. most of the time unatumia mbinu gani kati ya kuweza kusuluhisha changamoto za kukujia cha kwanza ni maombi master uh-huh. <laughs> eh hey, kwa sababu unajua ah, lazima uombe tu uh-huh. ndio if, if there's something you're, you're dealing with tu tu lina hiyo issue yenyewe tu mm. na so many other things mm. we deal we tackle the issue so mm. for, i think maombi ni poa uh-huh. and i think also in marriage ni vizuri kuongea na wasanii ni wako mali unapata counsel unapata advice na yeah. nini so that you find some things yenye unafikiria ni unafikiria kitu kikubwa sana kumbe ni challenge tu kila mtu anapitia okay. ni vile tu wewe hujai pitia uh-huh. just have to figure it out uh-huh. yeah, who, who is your go to person when you are you want uh, consult the to their ndoa ndiko tu watu kana your go to person eh, eh, my go to person uh-huh. uh, my pastor aha uh-huh. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, well, a lot of things not just marriage. Mm. A lot of things all all together. Mm. To part, uh, like uh, I talk to my pastor about about a lot of things. And you know, the good thing about the pastor na kupea angle kutoka kwa kutoka kwa neno la Mungu. Oh. Um sio tu unajua you know mzazi tunajua hizi vitu zingine mm. tunapatana na watu wanakuambia unajua mimi kwangu nataki mtu wa mimi kwangu. Unajua mtu wa mimi kwangu huko ni kwake. Eh yeah, sio. <laughs> Mbona yeah. mfano wa Biblia? Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. nipe mfano wa Biblia, niambie what I should do according to God. Niambie what I should do according to the situation. Okay. Sio mimi unajua kwetu. Unajua mimi mwanamke hezi. Ah. Ama mimi unajua you know advice okay. kulingana na advice za huko kando kando people are different. Homes are different. Yeah. Watu wanajua na different. Yeah. Ume wa mtu ametoka huku mwingine ame wa mtu ametoka huku. Approach tofauti. Ah. Sisi wote pia ni tofauti kulingana vile tuna deal na issues, unaelewa? Yeah, kuna mtu mwenye anakasirika zaidi, kuna mwingine ana anataka ku akikasirika anataka kuongea polepole aeleze aeleze oh. so i think some of these things for me ni miona 
Mungu is the only cause of Mungu ni katikati kwa sisi wote. Okay. But sometimes you might go for advice from different people na uko confused ama you end up kwa the situation even more. Ah. Yeah. Uh, kuna watu katika ndoa mtu mtu ameingia kwenye ndoa basha confess kusema kwamba ai nimeenda kwenye ndoa kuna wakati mzee mpaka unatamani kwa nini niliyo mtu? Ushai kwa point. Ah bado bado. Kwa nini niliingia kwenye ndoa? Bado hujafika. Hujafika hapo. Mungu asikufikishe hapo. In Jesus name. Ni nini mnafanya? Unajua siku za dating there are so many things that you used to do mm-hmm. going out on dates and all that yeah. but mkisha wana mnazoyana and you stop doing that wewe mm-hmm. unafanya nini kuhakikisha kwamba hii ndoa yako inazidi kushamili i think ni kujikumbusha tu na bado kuongea mnaongea mnaongea mnakuwa honest with each other mm-hmm. because i think communication because things change eh? mm-hmm. unaweza pata situation change sometimes kama saa mimi na mke wangu um, tuko katika ndoa mm-hmm na si wote pia tuko kwa kazi. Mimi mm. anafanya MC na anafanya hizi vitu zote. Mm. So sometimes situation nyingi ilikuwa maybe wakati tulikuwa tuna date ni sio situation. So kuna as as life inaendelea ku change, as life inaendelea kuwa simpler or complex or whatever, I think the main thing ni communication. Lakini pia kukumbuka that you know ni vizuri kuna sasa kuna mahali mmekaa chini I think kuna kitu nimeelewa ni kuna mahali mkaa chini kusema hapa tumekuja kuongea. Uh-huh. Eh sio tu kuongea ongea hapa mkitoka kwa gari you know Uh-huh. tena kidogo kidogo nyumbani kidogo so kuna mm-hmm. mahali tu kumleta chakula mnakaa chini mm-hmm. so i think dating in marriage is also very important hiyo okay. dating in marriage yes yes kwenda dates nini eh kwenda date kwa sababu unadhani ati mnaongea but really mnaongea kidogo kidogo hapa kidogo uh-huh. pale uh-huh. na sasa hata you know i can only imagine it will not get easier yeah. so kitu one thing that try kujikumbusha ni hiyo dating even in marriage okay yeah. who is dom in a found food <laughs> Mwanje <laughs> amekuwa mguu nje mguu ndani kwa muda mrefu. <laughs> na uh, sijui kama ana swali la kukuuliza kama jana kwa sababu sasa hizi yuko in a situation wisdom uh, a break up na mpenzi alibali propose kwamba atamoa. Sijui hiyo baba utani amekuja atatuambia baadaye. But wisdom do you have a question uh, for Moji? Ah mi wacha niseme tu kweli leo sina maoni tu. Moja anaongea opposite yangu yani nimejaribu imeshindikana. Kwa hivyo pia kuna kuna mapungufu unapata kwa mtu. Mm. Kuna mruhusu maybe apate mwenye hata aone hayo mapungufu. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kwasa, yeah. Una mruhusu kabisa yani hata hakuna chuki, hakuna atimatusi, eh. una mruhusu kabisa. Eh. Maybe kuna mtu akipata na eh. eh. hata aone ikiwa hivyo. Okay. So ni ile situation it's not me it's you. It's not you it's me. Eh. Si na maanisha hivi bro na maanisha yani inafika mahali una release mtu. Oh. Yani kwa sababu pia maybe ana deserve better. Oh. Eh. Hey. Na hapo ndio tutakubali kwa hiyo unaka unaka hadi hiyo mapenzi tutakupiga. Unajua wanaume si tunapenda heshima. Uh. Eh kutoka kwa mwanamke lazima upate heshima. Mm. So bila nadhani bila respect ni kama kuna kwa na shida kubwa. Yani mapenzi hata izidi aje na hiyo moja anaweza confess. Yaani hata izidi aje hata kupende aje hata apige magoti kama hakuna heshima kama hakuna heshima inakuwa welcome back welcome back wacha tuchukue break moja ngoma ambayo itafuta baadaye kwenye EP ambayo ungependa flash aguse ah uh, kuna after church ndio tukaa na mahaji oh hiyo tuta mazingira ya baadaye zingine na pia kuna zingine tutabusa oh, okay yeah. msikizaji tutachukua break fupi alafu tutakuwa tunarudi kumbuka tutakuwa tunamalizia malizia pia kupiga story na moja shot baba um alafu tutakuwa tunakuja tena kwa ajili ya mazuri ambayo tutakuwa tunafanya so uh, ndio hivyo tena moja ongera sana tunaweza yeah, kusimama na muziki wa kumtukuza Mwenyezi Mungu jai yumba ijapo yeah. kuna wengi ambao walikuja wakayumba kabisa yeah. yeah. Uh, ni my host watu kadhaa hapa most masi masita the other day yeah. and there's one thing ambao wasanii wengi ambao ni my host hapa amesema ni kwamba mnajitahidi um, sana kuhakikisha kama mnapambania gospel kwa kuimba gospel ya kweli yeah. uh, katika tasnia muziki wa gospel je kati yenu kuna kuwa na ushindani ushindani ile competition mhm um kuna kitu inaitwa challenge mm. kuna ku challengeana rather than competition yeah. uh, uh, how do you defend the challenge challenge ni kesho tukisema tunaenda mahali na wenzazi mm. ungare kuniliko ah hiyo mara nyingine nitapanda hata mimi nitatafuta fundi sitakubali unifunike sana Aha. kuna kuna kuchallengeana hiyo like uh-huh. if somebody does something good something quality hata wewe unataka eh kuna like, eh maana ni kitu ni kali man mm. naye alikufanyia hiyo uh-huh. ama naye alimfanyia hata mimi nataka kufanya kitu quality pia uh-huh. lakini kuna ile sasa you know cutthroat competition inamaanisha 
the first thing ni kwamba umefanya kitu kwanza na try kuiongelea kwenye iko chini mm. that's what i think the competition competition man ni njaga the one thing about competition competition is more bring people down sometimes mm. eh inaweza kuwa bit eh, inaweza kuwa bit hectic is it there in this competition i can't speak for everybody really mm. i can say have you witnessed it have you ever witnessed competition kwenye gospel eh ni shawa i don't lie not challenge it's so challenging competition so challenges sio kuchallengeana yeah. bali competition. Yeah, I've <coughs> witness competition. Umei witness. Yeah. Um, Sisi mama hapa ndanganyane. Yeah. Ime <laughs> uh, imeathiri vipi gospel? Um inaathiri sometimes it, well I think ile issue tu athiri zaidi mm. na inaacha kuwa no longer about the mission about ile mm. tunapofanyika. Mm. Si so, inakuwa ni about nani atapiga mwingine, mm. nani atakuwa mkubwa kuliko mwingine mm. rather than what can we do kufanya kazi kwa sababu for both they are different mm. ni ati lengo ni lengo ni kuinua mm. yesu mm-hmm. lengo ni kuinua injili so competition ina uwa hiyo okay. so ina bidi sana tuanze kuangaliana sana na kuona nani ana pesa kuliko mwingine wow. nani ana pesa kuliko mwingine na kitu kama hizo as you have caught yourself in the competition sisi manisha yenda mbali sana as ah. kufanya vitu za competition ah. but i think kama binadamu sisi wote tuko leo kitu ndani yetu mm. so it's all about vile unai manage mm. eh yeah, cause competition ukiache ku drive sasa inaacha kuwa boot wewe unaanza kuangalia kenya watu wengine wanafanya zaidi mm-hmm. so vibe i caught myself dikifeel ni kama hiyo kitu inakuja ndio uh-huh. but na deal nayo na pia unajeka watu around wewe wenye wanakuuliza na mbona unafanya hivyo unajua kuna kitu unaweza fanya tu kwa mtu akuuliza na tu kwa mbona unafanya hivyo uh, wewe ufanyangi hivyo mbona ni nini ni nini kiini cha wewe kutaka kufanya hivi uh, ni nini uh, unajua ukikana watu wanakujua anakuambia kuna vitu tu hujaifanya kama mimi mwenyewe nimekuja for a long time ukifanya nitajiuliza ah uh, this is out of out of what i know you from like uh, this is really out of yourself uh, so for me kuje kuweka wase around wewe na wewe mwenyewe kujijua na kujua eh hapa hivi hapo hiyo kitu umefanya hiyo hakuna lengo lako sio safi hata yeah. wewe ji mwenyewe be honest with yourself uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Um, so does this mean that kuna beef pia kwenye gospel music as a beefing beefing kati ya wasanii wote na beef hata kanisani mbona isikuwe kwa kwa gospel <coughs> beef iko kila mahali binadamu wakiishi watakosa si beef ni kukosana kutofautia kushindana kutofautiana kukosana hiyo hiyo isikosa mimi nasema how do you deal with it when you feel like ina ina come i think mm. that's what whatever but hiyo kitu sisi mama hapa nisemea kwa kuna watu wana wana beef hata me beef zingine hata oh. zimetokea nje watu wana beef watu wanakosana oh. eh, but you pray that was once watu wametofautiana kuhusu mambo mawili au matatu is that you handle it better mm-hmm. that's the prayer but beef zinakuwa watu wanakosana wanapata huwa sikizani na huyu huwa likanyagana wewe uko na business mimi shetani hapo hapo boss na poverty sina beef na mtu nani uko na beef na wewe mwenye na beef na mimi yeah. sijui bana wala hujaisikia lakini kila siku na yangu asubuhi anamuombea na anamtumia moto fire <laughs> but <laughs> Mzazi unajua moji ni mkali sana anahepa maswali. Eh? Mkali aje. Ah, bali. Anahepa maswali. Ni maswali ni maswali gani yajibu hapa? Ah, wewe ni mwerevu tu. Ndalavua, <laughs> <laughs> ndalavua. Yeah, kwa sababu mimi nimekuwa hapo mm. kwa gospel industry na najua kila kitu. Mm. Nimekataa kitu chochote nimesema. Nimesema kuna beef. Uh, swali yangu ni mm. uh, kama saa hizi hata nimetoka ku kupea maua yako kando on air yeah. ni kuambia vile ipi nafanya vizuri yeah. kuna wasanii wengi wakubwa ambao tunajua ni marafiki zako kwa gospel industry mm. for example mm. kwa nini hawaja post yeah. yeah but you manage tuna beef so beef eh, mzazi ameuliza swali kuhusu competition na challenge yeah, 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 yeah. na muuliza kuhusu competition wote wa like jibu lako kuhusu kwa sababu ni kitu ambayo inafaa tu inafanyika tu kwa sababu oh yani like yeah. post kazi yake yeah. kuna wasanii ambao haja post uh, the ep wengi sana does it affect you wakati unaona kwamba wasanii fulani hawa post kazi zako na ni kazi nzuri honestly sir kuna siku nyingine affect lakini sio size Mm. Mm. Eh, kuna siku nyingine affect lakini sio mm. size size niko tu like yani hata unless you know uiseme hivyo like, like uh, opinion uh, uh, mimi nauliza tu opinion yako kuhusu hiyo kwa sababu tuna tuna expect unajua gospel sio kama secular so hiyo unity yani unaichukuliaje kwa sababu hauhitaji kuambia mtu akupost kwa sababu goal ni moja ya kila mtu 
kwa gospel yani kazi ni moja ni kutumikia god na mm. kila project inafaa inachukuliwa vizuri so maybe opinion yako kuhusu hiyo weakness yenye tunaiona kwa macho mm. ya yeah, kwa sababu haiko kuna vitu mbili mm. kuna unity na kuna oneness mm. unity ni kumaanisha tu unity mm. kwa moja tu kwa nini mm. na kuna oneness in purpose mm. me brother wisdom mm. usini post mm. lakini like behave vizuri mm. like uki behave vibaya mm. ina effect more than uki ni post mm. ah. siju kuona elewa yeah. like if we have unity of purpose mm. it's far more important than we kuni post mm. kosa kuni post da mimi kazi ni si ni kazi yangu mimi si nipambane nifanye wewe we mwenyewe wewe una post kazi za wasanii wengine labda una hata na post na sisi sema na post za wote ah. lakini maanishi na beef now oh. lakini oh. vile inaiwakilisha gospel mm. ni far more important than kupo sometimes nitasahau okay. sometimes sitaona ah. sometimes unapata mtu akona mpango wake ku post juu oh. akona juu page yake kuna watu mimi najua page yake ndio unga yake so haizi <laughs> haizi post sana jua kipo sana zile post ni anafaa ku post za juu wewe unajua hizi vitu zote uko yeah. manager mpaka wasanii yeah. anakuwa like badala ni post watu ni supposed yeah. to na huyu mimi supposing ni wasanii yeah. juu page okay. yangu ni kazi yangu nini lakini ah. what what I'm more concerned about as gospel artist mm. ni ni nini hiyo kuna unaweza kosa kuni post lakini tena u post kitu kingine yenye ndana interview zote naulizwa so heri you supposed hiyo ah unaelewa heri uko sasa kuni post lakini uwe post kitu fulani tu hivi sasa na kila mahali naenda nikuulizwa kama wisdom nimejibu swali zake mingi sana mambo apa amefanya eh wewe hajani post hapo sasa ajiuliza ukimuuliza moja 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 mzali ukimuuliza kutoka karne ya nini anasema ngai mimi bado ni gospel artist ndio yeye ameni post Eh hey, sana mimi ni posti zangu zimejaa ngozi zangu. Posti. Eh. Ah bibi mwanzako Didiman you guys uh, bado ni washikaji ama ilishia kelele takatifu. Sisi ni washikaji. Mm. Lakini sisi sema sisi ni washikaji ile kama kitambo. Mm. Eh sai tu kila mtu um kuna ile tu tuko na washikaji na heshima mingi sana kwa sababu ya historia. Mm. But sisi sema na tunashinda naye but tunaongea sana tunafanya kazi na yeye na wekatik oh. um, tunafanya kazi nao tumefanya hata uh, ngoma pamoja na kina JBD na Timeless Noel oh, okay. so yeah but sisi sema ati unajua kitambo liko yani attached by the hip yani eh. tunashinda pamoja yani kila wakati ukiniona mmemuona mm, so hiyo yeah. maybe ifanyiki kwa sasa okay. yeah man ningependa mwanzi akaapa tutambulishe ngoma ambao mmefanya pamoja uh, flash na uh, kui drop Mwanzi, siku yako inakuja wewe tutakuita rasmi kivi yako. Maana mm. <laughs> mwenyewe wewe kivi yako tayari pia ni vurugu match. Wewe ni hatari. Uh, karibu kwenye mseto. Me, nimefika nimeshukuru. Mm. Sisi hao. Wapi utambulishi wa mazee? Kuna wale ambao wana, wanasikia sauti ya hapa tile wapi utambulishi? Wapi introduction? Uh, kwa majina ni Muhanji. Mm. Uh, na mimi ni msanii wa gospel. Mm. Nafanya rap, mm. afro. Mm-hmm. Nasikia juzi kuna mpi imetokea sijui inaitwa Abraton. Uh, Abaton 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 Jay Uruguay Zote zote tunafanya eh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, sana how was it, how was it uh, fanya kazi nae na after church after church moji kwanza alini ali, 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 beat flani eh yeah. ali, 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 Bali pigia kaniambia kuja studio niko na niko na kibao. <laughs> na tukaingia hapo tukachangamka na na ikawa. Ah, yeah. This is the song master said. So ni create, uh, create pamoja. Yeye yeah, yeah, tuli create pamoja. Okay. DJ Fashion tumekuwa tayari kuweza ku drop hit hit. Sikiza ikazi. Mambo mseto round ya tatu. Kanifu kupata ni after touch. Uko na fuko ndani ya 